Hey everybody, Liberty here, and today we're running some Gin Annie. During my marathon stream, someone was asking about Gin Annie lines. I did a couple demo games. They went off amazingly because this is a super strong deck. And so I just wanted to share with those of you who are not familiar with my favorite aggro deck in the game. This is how you play Gin Annie. Maybe we should just do snacks at 13. Let's make a more realistic objective. We'll do snacks at 13 miles, the halfway point. Okay, Jin Annie, Shura, is all about doing as much damage as physically possible. We want to hard mold to get a Jin in hand because, um, yeah, 13.1 helms at the halfway mark, yeah. We want Jin in hand because of his origin, um, where we want to play three skills and him see them. And we want to use stage hand on def on attack turns, Helmsy. Oh, don't understand Jin the card. Okay, but I'll I'll, I'll explain you him sure as we go. I'm actually gonna mole this hand into specifically Jinx though. So Jin the card, the virtuoso, he can put all of the skill cards into his deck. So that means that we can run we can run anything that has skills. Jin the Jin. Uh, has multiple tickers. So the first ticker just happened. The Lotus Trap, every three skills, basically everything, three things you put on the stack, tick Lotus Trap. And on the third tick, Lotus Trap will shoot the enemy face for one. And if Jin is in play, it'll stun the str either strongest or weakest, I forget. It'll stun the weakest enemy. So that's one ticker. Um, he has his own skill of when he attacks, he deals two to all stun enemies. And when he's leveled, he's going to deal uh, four to enemy nexus and stun enemies. And his final ticker is that he... Um... Boop, 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 boop. His final ticker is that he levels at 12 skills. Lotus traps tricks for the level up, but not onto the. Wait, what? Mapo, I, I, I'm not. I'm not following. You lost. You lost me. Lotus trap tr ticks for the level up, but not. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm reading it now. Lotus tap. Lotus trap ticks for the level up. Yes. Yeah, Lotus does not start ticking the next Lotus. That is correct. Yeah, but it does tick the level up. So we've only played three skills, but because of Lotus Trap, Jin is four procs to level. And it's a deck uh, where, where, where we just kind of jam it. You know, we just kind of jam it. And we'll be fervoring this Tusk Speaker, probably, because there's no reason to give him free removal. It might be correct to fervor the Lulu here, but generally we fervor face. Because, uh, in my experience, this deck runs out of steam pretty on curve. So you just want to basically pump the maximum possible damage. And Jin the card here, we're just we're just continuing to put skills on the stack, right? Right now we have the the way we see this is that we have four points of damage burn in hand at the moment, right? And he has eight health, so we're currently not on track to win. But we can draw more damage, right? One of the questions we have to decide here is do we swing with Tusk Speaker here? And now that he's played something that can block it, we do not. Maybe I should have. He might have let a point of damage through. The uh, the sun the sun hawks and stuff like that um, are really good for defensive swings. But in this case, we're going to use it offensively or defensively. Normally, we use this on attack turns to um, to. Uh, just to block a unit to, so that we can attack more, but we're actually perfectly on curve here. We have exact lethal. As long as Jinx doesn't win the game, we win the game. Now his Jinx can maybe figure out a win here. 
All of our blockers um, are can survive the rocket, though, so I think we win. Because what's going to happen here, guys? My exact line. Doom Beast is going to put one more skill on the stack. That's going to proc Lotus Trap. And Lotus Trap Doom Beast levels Jin. And Jin's uh, level spell does four to face, which is exact lethal. Which is how you want to play Jin, right? Jin is a very precise, like, mechanical deck. And we're blocking like this because we want to stay as healthy as physically possible here. Because we're worried about Mega Death Rockets, right? The way, the way he beats me is he needs to have um, a way to kill Jin. Uh, oh, it's one over lethal. He needs to have a way to kill Jin, like a get excited Mega Death Rocket combo, for instance. Because if our Jin attacks, we win. Thing is, he's going to have four cards in hand at the moment, and that's going to be difficult for him to get a rocket. He might have double get excited, though, and that would beat us. Um, Tim, are you running uh, Jin Annie? <laughs> Through my work, you shall transcend. That would be my question. I will showcase the beauty of This is exactly lethal. He needs to fully pump my Jin to stop this. Or not exactly lethal, but this is lethal. If Jin begins his swing, we win. Bum, 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 bum. So Sura, basically Jin decks are all about just going full to face and hoping you have enough damage. Hoping and praying. They have a lot of damage built into them. Because you know, right, we're finding a Jinx Lulu deck, which is pretty aggro, right? And yet we still did it faster than them, significantly faster. Our performance I have prepared something he let me swing, we win. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. And that's Junani. On this channel, I don't ask you for subs. Instead, I challenge you to rock, paper, scissors for him. We go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. If I win, you got a sub. Rules the rules. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Win for rock. Enjoy the rest of the video. H rocks. Enemies running a Tibbers. That's funny. We'll let him hit. All monsters die. Where's my axe? Where's my axe? Where is it at? Yeah, now you know. Now you know. We are at the threshold of something great. Now you know. Embrace your fate as I have mine. <laughs> Don't run any she's not a page. <laughs> <laughs> Not much sport. Bum 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 bum. Yo, look at that juicy damage, guys. Look at it. And our Annie's almost leveled. We have an experimenter for a refill. Perfect. We have double rookie this turn. Defector is fine. We don't really care. Yo, Kenny with the sub! Thank you so much! Very kind. He does 12 to us, but, you know, what can we do, right? Ow. We have to block one of them. Uh, We'll do this. I guess we'll do this. We can't give him a lethal, right? Okay. We're doing four to face here. I mean, depending on how... Oh, Sunhawk. We'll go for it. Got paid. Hey, thank you, Kenny. Very kind, very kind. What we're doing, Kenny, for subs today, because normally I do the jog, right? Um, we're doing instead, I'll play whatever you deck you want for two games. So this was um, Shura's pick to play some Jin Annie and look at the lines. Oh, Shura, sorry, where's your explanation? My bad, that's what you're asking. 
So again, all we're just trying to do is just jam spells. And specifically, sure, we use stuns on attack turns to remove the blockers. And we're just basically doing everything to do damage. We're basically figuring out what's the, the way I can do the most damage to the enemy face. And I don't care about him attacking me. If the enemy is going to, to basically out damage us, we're going to lose always. This deck is all built around damage. Sorry, uh, sure. I wasn't. I was. I was confused about what you're what you're saying. X, like uh, X is the next explanation. We'll do one more Janani game after this, and we can Noxian Fervor here through the cane. Uh, to whatever blocks, and we get level Nanny, so we get the Tibbers. So she heal. Oh my gosh. But uh, sure, we'll do one more. We'll do one more uh, for for more explanations. Uno mas. Oh, he's fully tapped. That's game. Here you go. Here's leap for you guys. Two Janani dubs in a row. But Kenny, what game? What uh, deck would you like me to play? Do, 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 do. Okay, Rumble, Rumble Vein. This is a tricky deck to fight. We will hold a stage hand. Um, we really want one drops. We'll hold a stage hand. Do some exercises for my Pete. Um, maybe we'll see. I'm taking. I'm planning on taking a break, guys. At a uh, okay. Uh, so um, let's see. Sure. Uh, the the turn. The, the option here on turn one is rear guard or Annie. Rear guard does more damage, but Annie puts a skill on the stack, and so that's slightly better for Jin here. Now if we get two one drops. We'll develop. If we weren't going to get two one drops, I would have. Probably open swung because demolitionist and stagehand don't really have a good effect this turn specifically. But we basically want to develop whenever possible and not open swing typically because we're trying to put as long as we can push more damage, right? Because most decks in the game right now, mid range decks, lay out one big unit a turn on curve or they bank for spell mana. So we can exploit that by going wide around them. This turn we're gonna demolitionist because it's a defensive turn. No more mud for me. No way. And Annie and uh, we can and we're choosing to injure Annie here just because like she's dead already. But I would have injured her anyway because we just don't want to injure our saboteur because that because that's more damage we can proc right. Annie gets Annie gets removed here always, but that's fine. Um, Bulgaria. Uh, I'm gonna go to Tennessee, I think. I think that's where it is. Okay, we have stagehands this turn, so we're gonna stagehand here. And then if he develops one more unit, we have stagehand on that as well. Again, we're doing, uh, def this again, this is to Helmsy as well. We're using our stinking stuns on attacking turns. They do way more damage that way. See, he goes for the Bane, and then we have another stun. This is Jin Annie right here, is doing these stuns on attacking turns. That's the fundamental concept of the deck. So much bigger than us both. They use these stagehands at two mana. They give us a ton of stuns. And then look at this, we're doing what? A Kree, I don't even, I can't even count right now. That's incorrect, holy cow. Yeah, we're doing 10 damage. Uh, uh, friends, Tim. We're gonna, I'm going to a friend's family's house. And then we have Lethal with Demo next next turn on open, guys. So yeah, this is Janani. It's a ridiculously broken broken deck. Swain? Yeah, sure, Kenny. Uh, do you want me to run like a strong Swain or like a more like a fun Swain? Do, 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 do. Not Tim. I gotta keep it YouTube friendly. Baby, don't fail me now. Come on, baby. Bum 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 bum. Reporting for duty. The glory of Noxus. Bam. Believe it or not, Bagiri, I uh, I actually have context in the real world. But yeah, uh, 
Um, uh, Shura, Jin Annie's all about just pushing through as much damage as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully that was instructional at least a little bit. Uh, it's a really strong deck. What can I say? Thank you guys all so much for watching and uh, make sure to check out the other recommended videos or whatever they put up there. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow's video. Peace. Ooh, ooh, ooh.